Before anyone was worried about COVID, there was a lot of hype out there over giant Asian hornets invading Washington state. These hornets are the biggest of their kind. They pose a huge risk to bee populations and a small risk to people if they feel threatened. Some of you have recently sent us pictures of what you think to be one of these hornets. So new this morning, Chase Beefelt talked to an entomologist at University of Idaho to identify the bugs seen in many of your photos. The Asian giant hornet, Vespa mandarinia, that we're talking about today is the largest hornet the world. The Asian giant murder hornet was first spotted in Washington state last September, according to U of I entomologist Sanford Eigenbrode. He studies insects for a living and says the Asian hornets get their murder nickname for their destruction of beehives. They're killing bees and, and removing resources, probably the brood that they can feed upon. They're, they are predators. So are these hornets here in Idaho? Eigenbrode says no, yet we still receive many curious pictures from some of you asking if these are the infamous murder hornets. These pictures were taken in Mountain Home. Can you tell us what those are and why they might be mistaken for this hornet? They sent pictures of digger wasps that are present all over or over much of North America. They are uh, about three quarters the length of the Asian giant hornet and maybe a quarter of the mass because the Asian giant horn is quite robust. But it's four centimeters long, so that's uh, one and a half inches. If people saw one of these here in Idaho, I think they'd know. Uh, it'd be something considerably bigger than they've ever seen in a bee yeah. or a hornet or a bug that can fly. They look really different. There's not a lot of uh, hornets that look like that. For most of populated Idaho, these things are extremely unlikely to appear and establish. Chase B. Felt, Idaho's News Channel 7. And that was Chase B. Felt reporting for us. Now, this man also says the giant Asian hornets typically like wetter regions. The only places they could possibly establish in Idaho are in the Treasure Valley or the Magic Valley. But he says the rest of Idaho and most places in between here in Washington are just too dry. If you think you've spotted one, send a picture to the Idaho State Department of Agriculture. Hopefully this won't happen, Doug, because, you know, no one wants to see this thing. And it is 2020, yeah. though. We did have to mention that there's a possibility of it, but let's hope it doesn't happen. Yeah, eastern Washington and eastern Oregon are pretty dry. They'd have to come through there first, so <laughs> keep our fingers crossed. We will. You yeah. never know, though, this year.